okay now we want to check physically which model is better whether eq1 and eq2 that uh, we want to check uh, graphically okay so how to check so what we shall be doing we shall be plotting the forecasted value of eq1 and the forecasted value of eq2 and also we shall forecast the actual y value then uh, then oh, we can compare between these three variable that we shall do now okay so what i do uh, so uh, what i do i first go to my work file it is here work file you can see the work file and here you can see all the forecasted value of y has been saved you see from here this is the forecasted value of y of equation 1 and this one is the forecasted value of y of equation 2 and this one is the actual y value now uh, I shall plot these three variable okay I want to plot and, 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 and uh, I want to check which one out of these two is closer to y that uh, that I have to check I open all the as a group I open okay you know here it has come na na why because here only I have chosen the forecasted value not the actual value that is why na na is coming up so this one is the forecasted value of eq1 this one is the forecasted value of eq2 and this one is the actual data that we have okay so uh, so i go to quick i go to graph then I press OK. So you know, see, we have the three variable here: yf eq1, yf eq2, and y. Right? We have three variable. So it is here already. I go to OK. And line and symbol. I choose line and symbol. Okay. This one is our uh, gra graphical representation. So what I am doing, I make it big, right, so that you can see better. I make it big, just one minute. Okay, big. problem with the mouse okay now it's getting better last time for, okay it's getting bigger bigger my computer is very slow because it is a <laughs> it is not a good computer my computer is not good so it is slow it takes longer time to operate something okay I think I make it big okay I think it's, it's okay. I make it further big so that you can see better yes okay here you can see first I talk about this Y which is green one it is the actual Y right all the green one right actual Y and this one I think it is blue color blue color the forecasted value of y of equation eq1 is blue color right 
blue color is here right forecasted value of y is here this one bl blue color and finally I see the red color this one which one is the forecasted value of y of equation eq2 that is this one right the red color okay now the question is that which which model is closer to actual y meaning that which forecasted value of y is closer to actual y so now uh, uh, we can easily see we can we can we can see it easily that eq1 this one is closer to actual y meaning that the forecasting error of eq1 is smaller than the forecasting error of eq2 okay what does mean by forecasting error the gap between actual y and forecasted y meaning that the gap you see the gap right the gap that is called forecasting error so now between these two model which model has has better forecasting power certainly eq1 right certainly we it is eq1 and and we have come to the same decision also previously previously also we came to the decision that eq1 has better forecasting model than eq2 and or also we can see from here so thank you very much for being with me for a while